All right, I believe I'm on high. I'm up, but this is a short hike, all gold feathers. Uh, let's jump right into it, I guess. All right, so short hike is a sort of exploration 3D platforming game. It's hard to describe. I think the best uh, description I always hear is it's like a mix between Animal Crossing and Breath of the Wild. Like, it's very much exploration, just, you know, chill, laid back. Uh, of course, in the context of speedrunning, that doesn't really matter, because we don't care about the exploration so much, so it's mostly placed like a 3D platformer. With some interesting mechanics, the main one being that we can sort of glide and fly, just like that. Uh, you saw me dive down there very briefly, that is to build speed, that I can then carry over into the glide. Um, as you see, we play as this bird called Claire. And first pick up here is a shovel. Uh, essentially this run is running around the island and um, collecting a bunch of stuff. The main thing of course being the golden feathers, which is the name of the category. But you see me collect some money there, we will need that. And then right here I collect something called a shell. And that is for a quest later. And those are the three main pickups. Here we are trading the, the toy shovel I picked up earlier for a real shovel. And now we're pretty much set. Um, so the money I need a total of 480 coins for to buy a bunch of gold feathers later. And the shells I need for a quest that also will reward with a um, with a gold feather later. But for now let's explain that. That is a chest bounce or chest boost. Um, if you stand on top of a chest like that it has like a little pushback and you can abuse that by standing right on top of it. And you know it propels you upwards as you just saw. Anyway. Back to Golden Feathers. Uh, here I'll buy the first two Golden Feathers uh, for 40 each. Um, again, those are the, the main thing of this category. There's a total of 20, we need all of them. And the way the Golden Feathers work is they grant me double jumps and the ability to climb. Um, in the bottom left you can see my feathers. Uh, they, you know, deplete when I use them, such as for double jumps. So right here I'll climb up a bit, you see it gradually deplete. And um, they refill once I'm on the ground. Uh, right there, I talked to that painter. Um, we'll talk about them more later. Um, for now, again, I'm just picking more money along the way. And right here's a little cool optimization coming up that you'll see, especially early on when we are restricted for feathers. It's not quite as important later, but... So the way climbing works right here, you see in the bottom left, my feathers sort of get depleted gradually. Like, they turn darker and darker until they eventually, you know, are completely blacked out, and then, you know, it's it's used up. Uh, but something I can do is I can use up a feather by climbing for like 99% and then as long as there's still like 1% of the feather left I can use a double jump and that's a nice little thing to um, optimize climbing um, very early on. It will come in use like here and there but it's especially, yeah, again, it's, it's useful especially early on when you don't have that many feathers. Right, that was the fourth feather and then up here there's another shell and then... Uh, right here you can definitely see uh, the main movement thing of this game being carrying over momentum into glides. So right there again, you saw me sort of nose dive downwards and then build speed. And that speed I can then carry over into a glide. Again, good demonstration coming up here again. And that's pretty much the main sort of um, movement technique in this game. Where, you know, to optimize this game you want to build as much speed as possible in as many sections as possible and then keep that for as long as possible. And right here I'll talk to the painter again, I talked to them earlier slightly, um, there's a quest that rewards a golden feather at the end. And it's really sort of the main part of the routing. Um, up here I'll dig up a feather which is part of a hidden chest. Uh, there's three hidden chests in the game that usually there's like treasure charts that have like poems in them. That sort of give like riddles where those chests are, you know, hidden. And um, that is the only one that actually has a feather and of course, you know, we know where they are so we don't need the, the, um, the treasure charts. And up here's another chest bounce. This one is actually in the any percent run too. Anyway, uh, you saw me talk to that painter earlier, and again, they're sort of the main thing uh, that the route revolves around. Um, because they spawn in like new positions every time I talk to them, and they reward a feather at the end. So I kind of have to like go from, you know, from each position to the next one. And, you know, that sort of dictates how the route works out. Uh, anyway, there I picked up the bucket, and with that I can, you know, I can fill that with water, as you saw. Uh, the thing is, when I fill it with water, I can't use my feathers at all, so I can't climb, I can't double jump. Um, but I can crawl these flowers, and as you can see, I can bounce off of them. And that's one of the main items in the any percent, percent run again. Uh, of course, we also use it here, but uh, that's what allows this game to be beaten with only two feathers. 
than the Anti-Piston Run with in like three minutes. Uh, small optimization here with menuing, so I'll equip the shovel during the sort of animation of dumping that water, and then during that animation I'll pick up the bucket again, and so on. Just a smaller optimization. And now the run pretty much follows the any percent route for a bit. We're gonna climb up the mountain. Right there, double jump briefly to cancel my upward momentum. And we're almost at the summit. And you might think in the game about climbing a summit, this is the end of the run, but it actually is only about the halfway point of this run. If this wasn't any percent run, I could finish right now. Um, watching this cutscene right here uh, unlocks, you know, the ability to watch the credits. Uh, you actually beat the game by going back to your house, so the point where we started. Um, and, you know, you could do that right now, like in any percent run after this cutscene is over, it would be over in about, um, like, 10 seconds. For us, of course, this is more like the halfway point. We still have a lot of feathers to collect. And it really shows like how nicely this wor uh, this route works out, really. So the the way it works out is sort of we revolve around clockwise around the mountain while, you know, constantly climbing up the mountain. And then now we reach the summit, and now we do the same thing again. We keep revolving clockwise around the mountain and now descend again to the bottom until we eventually reach the house again. It works out very, very nicely. And now I'll dive to the next painter location. Get some money here. Let's dive there. I need this shell down here. And then coming up is a mini game called Beach Stick Ball. We'll figure out why it's called that very soon. Because you get a stick and you hit a beach volleyball. Easy as that. So in this route we need to hit this thing a total of five times. Uh, as a reward we will get a golden feather. There used to be an all around bravely where we used to hit it ten times. Uh, there's more rewards and the one for ten times would be money. Um, so that would be cool but we found like slightly more optimized ways to um, to get that money. So we don't, we only do the five hits nowadays. Coming up is a big climb again, I might mess this up, hopefully not. But this is one of the main spots again where you will see that climbing optimization I was talking about earlier. So I climb up, deplete most of the feather, and then just b about before a feather is depleted I'll use that same feather to double jump. And only that way you can actually climb up this ridge up here with only these little feathers. It's very tight as you saw. And up here is a feather, so that's why you have to do that. And now we need a total of 400 coins still. Uh, the majority of that coin, of those coins are actually down here. There's like three chests that all are worth like 30-ish. So we get that chest and then we go up here and get a sick boost over this chest hopefully. Yup, that was a really good one. They kind of vary in height depending on like how well you are positioned. And then one of here. And that will be sh another shell. That will That is a total of 15. Uh, again, I said earlier, we need a total of 15 for a quest. So that's all shells, and honestly, I didn't look at my money, but I believe I have all. <laughs> I sure hope I do. <laughs> it's not a big deal if I don't. Actually, let's just pick this one up. Uh, 404, yes. Arrow not found. You only need 400, so I was fine. And with 400, we buy four more feathers from this guy here. 100 each. Quick maths. And... Brings us to 14 feathers. 15 and then up here right around the corner is oh wait no 16 right around here is 17. This is a very feather rich area a Feather dense I guess Like this is we're only like a minute away from actually completing the run Even though we just a minute ago. We had like half of the feathers left That was the second to last pain girl location and I messed up that descent slightly But you want to go back to this guy where we earlier traded in the toy shovel and with this toy shovel This kid right here builds a bunch of sand castles if you talk to them, they build more, and then eventually, um, on one of the sand castles, there will be a feather. And now finally, the payoff for this entire painter quest. Can we talk to them like five times, six times, and now finally we get the feather at this final location. 18, again, total of 20 feathers. This will be our 19. And then the final one will be traded in for the, um, the shell quest. So 15 shells. Oops, you want to bounce off that thing? 
Um, gonna talk to this guy. You could usually save and quit here to uh, reset his patrol position, but he was in a good position. And then right here, an Ankron uh, flower. Ankron flower. And if I save and quit on that, the game wrong warps me because it doesn't consider it a safe position. So it puts me in the next closest safe position, which happens to be right around the house. So perfect. So now that kid gave us that shell necklace for 15 shells. We give that shell necklace to our aunt. She gives us a golden feather, which is the final feather, and conveniently, the route just ends here, because right next to it is the house, and we can now finish the game. And that's it. 10 8 in-game time, all golden feathers, a short hike. Uh, yeah. Not too much left to say, I guess. I really like this one in particular, because it shows up a lot of cool things, uh, opposed to the any percent, which is only 3 minutes long. At this point, if you've played this game, feel free to check it out as a speed game. It's very easy and like forgiving to learn. Like you can probably run learn this uh, route in like three hours. The any percent run is only three minutes. You can probably learn the any percent in only like an hour. So if you're looking for a game to speed run to just have some fun, uh, play some casual speed runs and check this out. And if not, if you haven't played this game, go buy it. It's like six bucks and arguably one of my best games of the year. It's up there for game of the year for me with like. Baba is you and Gato Roboto. Which, talking about Gato Roboto, perfect segue, ha! Huh? <laughs> that will come out right next. I'll be racing Shed and Gato Roboto any percent, so stick around for that. Thanks for watching.